ইউনাইটেড কিংডম এবং সেই এরকম একটা ট্রেইনের মধ্যে পড়ে আমরা যাচ্ছি পৃথিবীর কেউ হয়তো অনেকটা অফিসে সব মনে হবে ইয়েস তারপর যেহেতু এটা আসলে এভরিওয়ান ইজ অন লাইভ সব কিন্তু লাইভ ও আগের পুরনো আমলে যে ও দ হ রক এই যে ট্রেইন ওই দা ফার্স্ট স্ট্রিম রেল এই যে শুনতেছ এর আপনারা তারপরে আমরা পিচ করে লাগে দিতাম একদের আমরা আমরা স্টেশন আইসি আমরা একটা স্টেশন আইসি কয়লার গুড়া পড়ে মাহফুজ ভাই আমি দেখিলা দেখাইলাই একবার মনে পড়তেছে আকাশেতে হেলান দিয়ে পাহাড় ঘুমায় হই আচ্ছা সেই পাহাড়ের জন্য হয়ে আমি জেগে রই মনে হচ্ছে মনে একটু জাগ্রত হয়েছে প্রকৃতির কাছাকাছি আবার কিছুক্ষণের মধ্যেই আমরা আবার ফেরত ফেরত চলে যাব আমরা কি নামতে হবে নি এখন আর ইঞ্জিন কিভাবে চেঞ্জ করবে তাইলে তুই উল্টে 
उल्टा चले जा इंजिन लोक खयला देखा खयला जलर छोट ट्रेन हंड्रेड पार्से इंजिन इंजिन चेन्ज कर चेन्ज करा जाके रेलवेटन And draw in any line wherever it wanted to go. Then, okay. Okay. Um, in its production, it, about seven million tons come out of here. There's a lot of stone that, but when you feel the weight of that, it's hardly surprising, really. You just look at it. <laughs> quite heavy, isn't it? For the size of it, it's quite. Heavy. Yeah. Yeah. So only from this mountain. Uh, yes. Just. Yes, it's all, all. Yeah, all over yeah. the here. The whole, the whole area where, you, where we started where from. You, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. At the peak, it employed about a hundred people here. Uh, mm. They used to produce not just the, the granite for there. They used to make uh, wall tiles, okay. floor tiles, uh, paving slabs, and they used to cut sets as well. Do you know what a set is? No. Ooh, no. no. You know what a cobble is, don't you? They have them in the streets, don't they? In the old streets. Yeah. 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 Well, a set is basically a cobble, but it's cut by hand. Cobbles are usually pulled off the beach or dug up in the fields or whatever. Yeah. But uh, they used to cut them by hand, hammer and chisel. Uh, just out in the open, like we are here. Whatever, <coughs> rain or shine, whatever. Be okay. eight, between eight mm. and ten blokes doing that all the time, eh? Wow. Yeah, <laughs> busy, hard old job. Mm. <clears throat> When it was being quarried, uh, you wouldn't have had a tree, blade of grass, no, odd blade of grass, but that's about it. Okay. And it's just bare rock, a uh, real dusty filthy dusty hole basically yeah mm. uh, a very busy place um majority of the people used to live in the houses down the bottom where you come in okay uh the the road that you pass the uh, brick ones they would mostly be the management and the uh, money people that put their money into the uh, quarry uh the terrace behind uh was just a a, a tin house basically 
it was a wooden frame with the tin on it and that was it. And most of those had two families in. And I know there was one house there that had uh, 13 children between the two families. So, okay. Uh, That's like, uh, okay. 17 people living in that small house. It's only a two-bedroom house. You know, it's quite incredible, really. Oh, okay. Yeah. Anyway, a very busy place, as I say. And uh, all other people who were working, they were originally from uh, England or from... Well, they were just the people mostly who from... We're all in this area. Okay, okay. Yeah. so the, yeah. all of the yeah. local, yeah. local people. Mostly in the houses here or just across in the other, in the village. But mostly here, yeah. Yeah, yeah, very busy place. What they do, blast it out the side of the quarry, put it, the smaller stuff will go into the tub, like that tub over there. Okay. And uh, the bigger lumps would go onto the flatbeds. They take them to the crushers. Uh, you would have crushed a couple of crushers coming in. Okay. Big grey lumps of metal stood on the hill down there. Okay. Uh, there were two of the crushers that were here. The others were taken away, I, I understand. Um, but they, they break them up from anything from this sort of size to down to a, a dust. Okay. Which That's was good. taken, all taken down the hill. But uh, the dust and that, which was they used for the uh, floor tiles and pavement slabs and that, they all went to what is now the business park down the bottom there. Okay. Um, there were two old, real old long sheds down there where they used to produce all that rotten. And that all used to go in there. But the rest of the stone used to go over the over the bank onto the onto the road. Onto the road wherever it was needed. The, uh, when the last time they produced when they stopped producing uh, in full production, yeah. I think it would be about uh, fifty years ago. Okay. But uh, I'll say 50 years to 45 years ago, uh, it gradually died off. Um, it was just the way things were, you know. The uh, because of the, the competition the material and other, they other were pulling out okay. here wasn't such quite, quite high quality as it was before. Uh, they didn't have the um, contract for the railway anymore. All right. But uh, you know, there was a lot of builders' firms and road works because there, there was a big uh, tarmac plant here as well at that time. And uh, they had a lot of contracts on the road, you know, on the roads and whatever. Yeah. It was 19, in the early 1960s, that the uh, Granite Company, which was the first company that owned it, they sold out to uh, Amalgam Amalgamated Roadstone, ARC. I think they're mm. still going actually, but. Uh, they pulled out approximately 40 years ago. And the reason that they pulled out was they hit the water table in the bottom here where these trees are. Yeah. And it flooded the area and they couldn't get any more stone out that was any good. So this was all right. But uh, they got close to the borders. Uh, as, you know, you have to have a plan and permission to go any further. Uh, there's only a few more yards to go. So they, they couldn't go much further and it wasn't. Uh, wasn't worth doing really, as the railway had gone by then and you know it's, uh, it was all by road actually. But when, <coughs> excuse me, at the end of the war time, or up to the end of the war time, they had three engines similar to this one in here, the steam okay. engines. Uh, one had a bad derailment and really done a lot of damage and it wasn't worth repairing, so they decided to scrap it. And they also scrapped the other two, which were worn right out as well. Uh, they ripped up all the uh, railway lines and used road transport after that. Um, when the quarry was sold, the man that bought the quarry was interested in doing what was done here. And he was looking around for a different rolling stock because that all went away when uh, everything was closed, you know. Uh, but this stuff, it all come from a, an American base which was a armament store, which is over the other side of Cockermouth, uh, Broughton Moor, and uh, the salvage is a lot of that. Some of it was electric, some of it was diesel, uh, but no, no steam. But they got the steam engine here and uh, loads of loads of other little engines and whatever. They've done up, pulled out of quarries and uh, different mines, and uh, they refurbished them all. Some of them they sell off, some of them they keep here. Got quite a few down in the shed. Unfortunately, just at this moment in time, you can't get in there. 
Normally you can. Excuse me, just one minute, I'll be right back. Okay. Tell them to come back. is exactly as it was when the quarry was opened with the steam engines up to the end of the war time. <coughs> All the uh, cranes and diggers down there, there had only been five or six working in the quarry at, uh, you know, when it, when it was working as the quarry. Uh, similar to the one behind you, it wasn't that, that one. This one. That yeah. one's yeah. quite a new one, it's only 70 years old. That. Oh, okay, 70 but, years uh, old. Some of them are well over 100 years old. Wow. Uh, the older ones. Uh, they've all been salvaged and they're going to be refurbished. A lot of them are owned by different clubs and associations, some privately. But uh, they come up here weekends, dig a hole, and come back the following weekend and fill it back up again. It keeps the old machines running and it keeps the younger fellas, uh, teaches them how to drive them. You know, mm. it's good. It's all push button these days, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> down with levers and all sorts. Yeah. Good fun. But anything that can't be replaced that's worn out on any of these machines, um, but they can't, uh, they can't get them off of another old one that they actually scrapped. They, they make it here. They make all sorts of stuff here. Mm. Marvellous engineers here. Come from all over. There's only two people on the payroll. That's the engine driver and the man that owns the quarry. Everybody else that comes here are, uh, you know, volunteers. Mm. Uh, yeah. You can all be volunteers if you want. <laughs> 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 yeah. oh, it's good. Uh, as you will see, the, the place isn't very tidy. When it was a quarry in full production, it wasn't tidy at all. Okay. A lot of the machinery and all these railway lines wouldn't have been there because of the, uh, because of the lockdown and everything. Uh, we haven't had time to clear it away, but uh, we've been sorting these rails to put some extra track down. If you, uh, where you got on the train, you'll see some railway line running through a little roadway and a gap in the, in the hedge down there. There's a big loop going around in that field, and it's coming back the other side of the building where you got on the train, and it'll double the length of the uh, ride then. Hmm. There's also going to be um, a new museum block, a new toilet block and uh, a small cafeteria. It'll be much nicer if you come again in a couple of years' time. Oh, okay. <laughs> Should have been well on the way now, but obviously because of the lockdown it hadn't happened. Just going back to the, the cranes and the diggers down there, a lot of them uh, have been pulled out of quarries. Uh, they were going to be cut up. They're so expensive to move by road, and there's so much paperwork and, uh, you know, uh, you have to have, be rooted and all sorts with all these big ones. So difficult and time consuming. So they just cut them up, it's cheaper in the long run. But uh, those that come here, if they're in a bad state of repair, they're all uh, repaired and put back together. And uh, yeah, it's great. It's the biggest, actually, it's the biggest open air museum for that sort of thing in Europe. So I've been told. We have some very rare ones down there. Uh, you may have seen a Rushton. A Rushton. Uh, most of them are Rushton bark cyclists. But the Rushton there, there's only four of those in the world. Whoa. It's the only one that works. It was found in a, a, glue, uh, a lagoon <laughs> um, with about two foot of the mast looking out the water. And that was it. It was dragged up here and uh, every nut and bolt was taken off it and it's been rebuilt. Uh, hmm. And it works. It's a steam one, that. It's not diesel or electric. It's oh, steam. Okay. When it's loaded with water, loaded with coal, it takes four men to operate it. It's that heavy. It has to have stabilizing rails on. 
It's got bogies on and it weighs 90 tons. That's before they pick up a, a bucket full of stone. So yeah. it's a really noisy, <laughs> lucky thing to drive, but it's very interesting to watch. And if you get the chance, uh, I can't give you any date because I don't know what the situation is at the moment, but uh, there are weekends here where they have guest engines, steam engines come from different places. Oh, okay. They come up here for a long weekend, have a lot of fun here moving around and taking people for a ride like this. And another long weekend, they had all the, uh, the diggers and uh, wagons and all sorts running. And it's a very interesting time. We get a lot of people here. It's very good. Very, very good. Um, you'll find any of those dates online, I'm sure. I, I can't tell you what the... Uh, the um, oh, God. Oh. No, I can't tell you what you pick them up on. But, uh, <laughs> on the computer, sorry. <laughs> can't think of what it is. Anyway, there you go. Um, if there's anything else you want to know, uh, what I can't tell you, isn't a great deal actually. I'm sorry, I'm quite new to this job. But, uh, you'll find no. it in the museum. Okay? Thank yeah, thank you very much. Thank you. Right, all right. <laughs> if you get back on the train, uh, we'll take you back down. Would you please get back in the same carriage as you come up in? Okay. Thank you very much. Remind mm -hmm. your heads when you go. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah. A little boy asked me. Eh? Okay. Okay, I love 